Hey guys, so I just picked up this Google Pixel 3a XL on eBay and I bought it for the sole purpose of installing Ubuntu Touch on it. So I, I really just wanted to, to try out Ubuntu Touch on on a phone. So um, I mean, I've tried it on the Pine phone and I have another video where we show you uh, how we did that or, or, you know, we basically demoed it. But I wanted to try it on something that's supported a little bit better. And this phone is the one phone that's absolutely fully supported by Ubuntu Touch. So this is probably my best bet of having, uh, you know, a real Linux phone that's not running Android. So currently it's running Android. We're going to wipe that out and, and, and we're going to try to install Ubuntu touch on this and it looks like the process for that is normally relatively pretty straightforward not doing that on this video that's that's coming up a little later we're going to show you all the steps but normally it would be pretty easy but they actually require you to have um, it, it actually requires Android 9.0 and um, you basically would have to set this to the default firmware that this comes with from the factory now when you do a factory reset it won't actually reset you to that firmware version if you've updated this phone. And, um, unlucky for me, when I, when I received this phone, it was already running Android 11. So if, if you go, um, yeah, so if you go into settings, uh, you, you can see here about phone and there we go, Android 11. So I, I haven't, um, I actually haven't even connected this phone to the internet yet. So I, I haven't put this phone online yet or, or, you know, connected my Google account or anything yet. So this is just offline. I just, you know, skipped each of those steps when I, uh, when I first set this phone up. But, um, yeah, the plan is that I'm going to wipe this out and install, um, uh, in install Ubuntu Touch. The tricky part is I need to downgrade to Android 9.0 first. So we're going to be doing that in, a, in an upcoming video. <clears throat> I'm going to get everything I need to get ready for that. And the plan is to actually show you, uh, I'm actually going to show you how I download that and how I, um, I'm going to have to put this uh, phone into developer mode. I'm going to have to, uh, uh, you know, set up Android Studio and get ADB working and, uh, and I'm going to have to do a few different things to actually flash. I'm going to actually have to download the ROM image from it. Apparently, Google actually makes those available. So you can get it directly from Google. So I'm going to grab the ROM image from Google and flash the exact version of Android 9. It's a very specific version. So I'm going to flash that version onto this phone. And then I'm going to attempt to use the uh, UB ports tool. And once you're at the point where you have the right version, that using the UB ports tool is rel supposedly relatively straightforward, but we're going to see how that goes. So I'm going to try to put all of that together in a video and hopefully I'm successful. If I am successful, um, you know, the plan is to uh, release that video coming up pretty soon. I hope to do that pretty soon, but we'll see how things go. I'm um, trying to put a lot of videos out um, in recent days, but uh, yeah, so this is one. I just wanted to give a quick update and talk about this new phone that I just received in the mail. Now, um, this, this one is actually used and it came with like a big scratch across the screen. You just, you can't tell when there's a wallpaper or when anything is displayed on the screen. You have to hold it at like the right angle. Now, um, actually one funny thing, when I switch it to a white screen like this, you can actually see these waves going across the screen. You, you can only see that on the camera. You can't actually, when I look at the phone directly with my eyes, you don't see that. But when I look at it with the camera, I do see that. It's kind of strange. I'm not sure why screens do that sometimes on camera. But um, yeah, it looks a little bit different to my eyes than it does to the camera. The other strange thing, when I'm on a white screen on this phone, the whole background is turning like yellow. Everything else is yellow for some reason. Um, switch to this and it looks a little bit, still looks a little bit yellow. When I take the phone out of the picture, it changes back to normal, right? See, everything is a little bit less yellow. I don't know, just a strange thing about this phone. Anyways, the coloring and the lighting in this video is a little off. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's the plan. And I actually kind of wish, um, I've basically been using an iPhone for my personal phone for the last couple of years. Um, I used to use it, I, I've switched back and forth between Android and iPhone multiple times over the years. Um, done a lot of, I've, I've, I've used Android a lot, but um, but yeah, it's been a couple of years I've been using an iPhone as my primary phone. And um, I, I kind of feel like it's it's neat to get to play with uh, Android again. Just uh, if for nothing else as a toy, it's neat to be able to play with, you know, both all the different systems out there. But um, yeah, so I kind of wish I could just keep Android on this and play around with it for a while. Um, I was almost thinking maybe I will play around with it a little bit before I actually uh, wipe it and install Ubuntu Touch. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking I might pick up another 
uh, another phone just to run Android and just to tinker around with it, maybe write some some Android apps, get back into that again. But yeah, I, I think I'd kind of like to have an Android phone around just to, uh, just to have it, just to test it out and just to play around with the interface and the, the different features and stuff. I actually like to make a few Android videos. I'd like to start putting out some Android videos too. And it, but uh, yeah, this phone is specifically for Ubuntu Touch, so I'm going to try to wipe it and install Ubuntu Touch on it. If I do get into Android stuff, it's going to be uh, it's going to be on another phone. I'm I'm probably going to pick up another phone specifically for that. And uh, the other thing I wanted to do, um, or the other thing that I'm actually doing, I have another video. I actually installed Android on an Asus Tinkerboard. I actually recorded that video, but I don't think I have actually uh, published it yet at the time of recording this. So um, I'm probably going to release this video before I release that video. So, um, so, so yeah, so stay tuned for that. You, you can expect to see a you know, Android on an Asus Tinkerboard. I'm going to probably try to put Android on, um, like Raspberry Pis and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely, uh, stay tuned for that. Might want to hit the subscribe button, might, might want to hit the, you know, the bell icon. Otherwise YouTube won't let you know when we come out with new videos and, um, you know, give me a thumbs up if, if you, if you want, you might want to give me a thumbs up, but you know, we do leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, criticisms, anything you want to say, you know, we always want to hear what people want to say. So definitely leave a comment. And, um, <clears throat> you know, if you know something I don't know, you know, leave, leave that as a comment too, not just for me, for, also for the next person who watches the video. So, um, yeah, and that's, that's basically it. Um, the only other thing I could say about this is, uh, I know I just, you know, I'm not used to the feel of Android anymore. I've gotten used to Apple products and it is kind of neat. Um, it's different. Um, I, I kind of feel like I, I don't know. There, I, I don't want to say I like one over the other. I'm, I'm not, you know, picking Android versus iOS. I, I like Apple products a lot these days. I know that's unpopular. Uh, that's not a popular opinion, especially in, in like the Linux community. I mean, some people do like, um, Apple stuff. A, a lot of people on, especially on certain subreddits, just really hate Apple and Apple products. Um, so yeah, I personally, I, I like Apple products and I, I'm enjoying using them. I, like I have a Mac, I have a, a, you know, an iPhone, iPad there, they're all great, but I'm not tied into the ecosystem. I make use of it, but I, I use a lot of Linux stuff. Um, still like Android. Um, you know, I switch between Linux, uh, Linux windows and, uh, and Mac OS on a daily basis. So I, I like to kind of keep one foot in each world, or, you know, really more than two worlds, one foot in a whole bunch of different worlds. But um, yeah, I, I don't want to settle on one thing or keep myself tied down to one technology. But it is it is neat to play with different things. Kind of wish I could, uh, you know, just keep playing with Android on this. But uh, yeah, it'll be way, way more interesting to install Ubuntu Touch on this. I'm, I'm really excited to see how that works out. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, remember su subscribe to the channel and, uh, that's about it for today. So hopefully you found this interesting. Um, hopefully you found this useful. Maybe not uh, definitely the next video will be useful. The next video on this phone should be very useful. I'd like to go really into detail into all the steps I, that I go through to upgrade this to, uh, or, or rather to downgrade this to, to Android 9 from Android 11. And then to, uh, yeah, that, that should be an adventure. Hopefully it goes pretty quickly and smoothly. So we're going to do that and uh, install Ubuntu on this. So yeah, that next video should be, uh, you should be able to definitely learn something from that. Um, this video, um, hopefully at least you found this interesting. Uh, maybe it gives people something to look forward to. Um, but that's about it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we will see you guys on that next video.